I got this giant package the other day with tons of stuff inside it. It has a few mechanical keyboards and some accessories, mainly key switches and keycaps. The keyboards are Aeon Gaming Striker and Sentry. I've actually covered them in a separate video, you can take a look from the description. Let's check out the keycaps and switches this time. All of these were sent from StacksKP.com, so shout out to them. I'll talk about them more at the end, but let's take a look what we have. Let's start with the switches. Okay, first off we have the Duroc Medium Tactile Switch. I've actually never used a switch from Duroc, and this is my first tactile switch too, alongside the brown ones they sent. You can see it has a transparent design with the gold accents of its pins showing through there. It's tactile as I mentioned, and requires a bottoming out force of 65 grams. So it's a little bit heavier than say a linear switch, which I'm used to. We also have a pretty exotic looking TTC flame red switch. It has this weird like plastic dome which acts as a diffuser for the LED. I haven't seen that design in many other switches. Personally, I prefer a completely translucent switch so that it shines brighter, but this may be interesting too. We'll mount them in a second and see. Okay, final pack, we have the Automo Silent Peach V2. It's a linear switch and as the name indicates, it's meant to be silent. Well, it's tough to say how silent it actually is by pressing it like that. We'll mount it and compare it side by side. I'll pick this keyboard to test out everything, the Aeon Gaming Striker, so that we can have a common reference point for everything, the sound, the feel and all that. Okay, let's start removing the keycaps. There we go. Now, as I was removing the switches, I kind of realized that it'll take way too much time to, you know, do all these combinations together because we have a bunch of keycaps as well. So I thought, let me divide these two rows per switch and mount everything at the same time so that we can compare it with different keycaps. I don't want to make this a super long video. So that's what we'll do. So here's the abomination I created. I know this keyboard will probably cause a glitch in the matrix, but that's the kind of thing we do on this channel. Like and subscribe. So the first two rows, as you see, are the Automo silent switches. The next two rows are the Duroc tactiles. And the bottom two rows are those funky TTC flame red switches. And I've also introduced two extra switches on the side. Those four are KTT brown switches and the remaining are content red switches. The KTT browns are tactile and the content red is linear. This should give us a good idea of how each keycap set behaves with all of these switches and we'll also get to hear their sound test at the same time. And this keyboard has gasket mount too, so the sound should be fairly consistent. We'll take a look. Okay, let's start unboxing the keycaps now. I think I'll start with this one, the Wu Keycap Design Studio. I'll be honest, I'm not familiar with these brands, but they seem pretty dope. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, I don't exactly know the theme of... Th Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this interstellar? It is! Oh man, this is so cool. Do you see the themes now? You see there's this code stay from the movie. Don't let me leave. You remember those scenes from the movie? There's TARS as well. And the second row has even more custom keycaps. Oh, this is great. These prints are actually really nice. And these are PBD keycaps. They are not shine through, unfortunately, but that should be fine. They are going for a different kind of aesthetic. Wow. Okay. Okay, this is serious stuff. And there's another layer beneath with even more creative caps. But I'm just gonna pick a few of these and spec the keyboard. Here we go. Boom. This is what I made. Not gonna lie, I'm loving this aesthetic. It goes perfectly with the black keyboard design with the dial and everything. And the blue light behind it looks wonderful. I am noticing however that the Automo switches we installed on the top two rows are not really giving out as much light because they are completely opaque. But the remaining switches are doing a decent job of showing RGB. The middle two rows with the translucent switches are doing the best job. This looks fantastic. And you know what, we'll do a sound test of everything together at the end, so stay tuned for that. Okay, second set is this interesting black and yellow keycaps. It's exactly as the name indicates, black and yellow. Some of them are yellow keycaps with black legends, some of them are black keycaps with yellow legends. Fairly straightforward, clean and minimal. Look at that. I mean, this might be the least bit customizable keycap out of these. You know, it doesn't go well with too many colors. The yellow light I have here seems to be working well, but others may not work as well. And it doesn't have as many keycap options as we saw with the Interstellar one, which probably will be my favorite. But overall, it's quite dope, isn't it? I like the feel, it's premium PBT. No shine through as usual, but it looks fire, doesn't it? What do you think of this? Would you pick this over the Interstellar one? Before the sound test, we have one more keycap. Let's look at that as well. Born for customization, okay. This one's a pretty fun and funky type one. It's called Salmon Keycap Set. You can see it has the sushi inspired designs on the keycaps. I'm not sure if it's referencing some kind of a show or a, some pop culture thing. I'm not aware of that. 
but it does look kind of fancy. I mean, I wouldn't rock it on my keyboard on a daily basis, but it does look neat. It feels nice, you know, premium quality, PBT switches, these rounded corners are nice. It looks like tiny blobs of sushi, you know, all over the keyboard. It's a fun design and I like that kind of a arrow key which literally says up, down, left, right. It's a unique take. Okay, now it's time for the sound test. Let's hear everything side by side and we'll see how it sounds. So I couldn't really tell a big difference between the keycaps in terms of sound, but you noticed how silent those Automo switches are. I actually don't like that. It's way too quiet and it feels like the switches are bottoming out too fast. It feels like I'm hitting something in the way of fully pressing that switch down, you know. It feels nice halfway and then it feels weird. That's what she said. And the Duroc tactile ones in the middle, they look great in terms of RGB, but I'm not a fan of tactile switches. I'm a linear fan, so tactile ones are not my preferred switches. That said, it feels pretty good, you know, it feels nice and reassuring to type on. Compared to the KTT Browns, it's actually a bit better. And the bottom ones are probably my favorite ones among these. The TTC Flame Red, I didn't expect them to be so nice, but they are. Nothing feels weird like the Otemu Silent ones, they have decent sound, they are fairly smooth and that LED diffuser dome design turns out to be actually interesting. It looks really good. I've never seen that aesthetic from any other switch before. So you heard the sound test, you see how it looks like. Which are your favorites? I'll leave a link to all of these in the description and if you actually use the code on your screen, you can get some discounts. And among these two keyboards that I mentioned, the Striker is a better value in my opinion. It's gasket mounted and overall has a better quality in it. Like it feels dense and nice to type on regardless of which keycaps and switches you have compared to the Sentry. So that would be better value for your money. And in fact, if you want to check out a more in-depth review on these two keyboards other than the video I made, you can check out Hardware Mana's video. Bro's done a great job with that. I'll link that in the description as well. Now my day-to-day -day combination of these would be to use the Interstellar keycaps with my Gateron red switches. I'll actually replace all of those KTT browns, sorry I don't like tactiles, and I'm gonna put my Gat reds in there. Now it feels much nicer. What can I say, I'm a linear fanboy. <laughs> so there you have it. Again, all of these new switches and the keycaps and keyboards were from Stacks KB. They're a really great site to get mechanical keyboard related accessories and even computer mice and desk mats. They are a great place to shop, especially in emerging markets like India where we don't have many options. So go take a look, link is in the description and don't forget to use my code to grab that discount.